G'day everyone, welcome back to the prehistoric fauna zoo. In this video, I'm going to be making an enclosure for the protoceratops. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> it's also going to be having a restaurant on the side of the enclosure so, you, so the guests can eat food while looking into the protoceratops enclosure. It's really cool. Yeah, so if you see my last video in the world, I built a T-Rex enclosure and this is the first T-Rex enclosure I've ever built. Someone actually messaged me about it on Discord. They seem to be really happy about it and I am as well. It's literally the biggest enclosure I've ever made and it was it's it's such a cool enclosure. So if you haven't seen that video, I recommend going and watching it. But anyway, for this video, we're doing a protoceratops with a restaurant on the side and someone else actually left a comment on my videos, uh, on my Stegosaurus video, f uh, like a few months ago, and they said they want me to make them uh, an enclosure and put them in it. So they're gonna be in the restaurant. Um, I'm not gonna put someone in a cage, but I'll put them in as a staff in the restaurant, and I won't pay them. That seems good. So yeah, at the end of the video, you'll be seeing the my YouTube subscriber enclosure, which is awesome. Yeah, so I'll talk a bit about the enclosure that I'm working on right now. Um, so this is the smallest enclosure that I've got in the zoo so far. It still took a bit because obviously I added a little restaurant on the side. I also wrapped the hill around a bit and I'm thinking maybe I'll have a path going up the hill and I could have some more elevation to the zoo. Um, so like some of the zoo is actually like on the mountain itself. I think that's cool. I also decided to keep the ground level of the path the same ground level as the the ground in the enclosure so that the visitors can um, get a really close view of the protoceratops because I don't think they're, they're an aggressive dinosaur. They look tiny and cute. They're, I think they're about like half a meter tall. So they're like, um, I don't, I think they're like cute little baby dinosaurs. Um, not the babies are cute, by the way. Why did I say that? <laughs> <laughs> so I actually record these voiceover parts in clips and I accidentally had my OBS on the wrong scene. Um, so it's picking up my friend's audio and he's in call while I'm recording this voiceover just so I have entertainment between clips. Um, but I didn't, I didn't realize when I made that awful joke that it would pick him up laughing. So yeah, you just heard him. Yeah, so the reason why I had it recording on different scenes is because I streamed this morning and it was still on my streaming scene, not my YouTube recording scene. And um, the stream went really well. And I'm wondering if anyone would like to see a stream where I'm building an enclosure in this world, or maybe just tying up some loose ends in this world. Like there's a ton of like, um, buildings and stuff that don't have interiors um, so yeah let me know if you would like to see that and also the baby hate thing that I said earlier um, that was in regards to something that happened in the stream today so yeah <laughs> if you're wondering about that there's baby hate on my stream so if you hate babies you should join my stream wow that was probably the best stream plug <laughs> I've ever done um, anyway I'll talk about the restaurant that I'm building here. It's pretty easy. I'm not, as I've said in the past, I'm not the greatest at building like man-made structures. So it's it's pretty basic. I've just used a bunch of spruce um, from the re-chiseled mod. I think that's what it's called. Um, and I've done like a, a chiseled oak roof, which I think looks really nice. And um, I got some chiseled glowstone. I'm using a lot of chiseled stuff, okay? Um, and yeah, I'm using the glowstone's lights. And as you can see, over here, I've used black glass for that area of the, the viewing area for the visitors. And that is because it's supposed to be tinted glass, so the viewers can view in, but the protoceratops cannot see the viewers. So it gives them uh, the false sense of security that they are not being watched, even though they are. Um, anyway. <laughs> I start working on the enclosure itself. Usually I do this at the start and I do the buildings at the end, but no, I did all the buildings at the start this time. Um, but actually, no, I usually do all the foliage at the end and I, I decided to do a custom tree and custom trees are something I've been working in the past few weeks at getting better at. So this one, 
I think it's pretty good, but I still definitely feel like there's room for improvement. Um, I, I, I feel like it, the, it, there's not enough air blocks in between the leaves, but I also don't know how to feel when I do add a lot of air blocks, so I haven't met the happy medium that I want yet. But um, I also paste some other trees that I used in uh, other enclosures uh, at the other spots in the enclosure, and I think it's nice. And I just used some, I think, redwood leaves for, like, just the bushes around the enclosure. And it's a very bushy enclosure. I went crazy with the bushes. And it's a very grassy enclosure as well. I looked up online uh, what the habitat that the Protoceratops lived in. And it was very dry and arid. But um, I feel like the enclosure is very boring. If I just left it with barely any foliage, barely any anything, and just like sort of sandy. So I went with a dirty arid vibe. So not not much sand, more dirt. Um, I still think it looks good. It still looks a bit lush and I like to keep my builds very lush. Um, but then I start working on the restaurant. Yeah, so this restaurant is a part of the Bobo restaurant train that I've decided to make in this world. Yes, this world's going to have a restaurant train. And it's very plant themed. Um, so yeah, I've got a lot of plants on the outside and a lot of plants on the inside. And yeah, so this one's going to be called Bobo's Burgers. <laughs> um, so it's the burger thing in the restaurant. The, the burger restaurant in the restaurant train. Um, maybe I'll have like a Bobo seafood or whatever uh somewhere else in the world um but yeah i'm pretty happy with this interior i'm not very good at man-made structures so yeah i'm i'm pretty happy with this i i had a lot of plants in the inside had a little cash register dodged some plants around but yeah overall pretty happy with it but this is the end of the time lapse so i will see you in game Are you ready to see the enclosure? I know I am. <laughs> I'm actually really happy with this. Um, as you can see, Bobo's restaurant. And I've actually got Bobo in this cage right here. He has not been there for three months. Don't listen to him. Um, yeah, so I, I'm, I'm quite happy with this. As you know, I'm not very good at human-made structures. We've also got this garden bed added here just because it, it divides the path a lot, up a lot nicer. I think it just looks really nice. Um, I actually gave Bobo some out of cage time. He helped me a little bit setting it up. Um, but yeah, this is the Protoceratops enclosure. It actually looks a lot better. You can see through the mesh a lot better without shaders. So I'll turn that off for a second. But I need to let Bobo out of this cage because um, you might think he's been in there for three months, but I'm not going to tell you how long he's been in there. So Bobo, you in there? You in there? Oh, look at him. Um, you can, you can come out now. Yeah, um, get to work, get to work. All right, Bobo, you, you start making me a burger and I'll come pay for it in a bit. Um, okay, so this is the Protoceratops enclosure and I'm really happy with it. I'm just going to switch to creator for a second and fly around because I'm really happy with this. The, the groundwork is pretty nice. The, the foliage and stuff, he, he misses, I'm not letting him back to his family. So yeah, I'm really happy with this. I didn't know they were nocturnal. I would have made more shade in the enclosure if, if I knew that, but yeah, I didn't. <laughs> Apparently Protoceratops is nocturnal, but yeah, there's not too much to show in this. Oh, he's got food finally. Um, there's not too much to show in this enclosure just because it is quite small, like compared to the T-Rex enclosure that I did in the last video. Um, but yeah, oh, but yeah, I'm actually pretty hungry. I didn't mean to switch to adventure. I'm going to switch to survival. Um, how much will the burger be? What? You can't be charging that amount. No, no, no. What else you got? Squash? 200? That's way too much for a squash. You can't be serious. Wait, milk? For a glass of milk? It's my first... Someone has to give away their firstborn kid for a glass of milk. Bobo, you can't be doing this. You can't actually be doing this. Um, but I will have one burger. And I own you, so I'm not going to be paying that price. 
Um, uh, you can have three copper coins for a burger. Hopefully that um, feeds your family for the next year because that's the next time I'm paying you. Next year. Get back to work. But yeah, what do you think of this enclosure? What What is he doing? This is why we don't have human enclosures in the zoo. But yeah, this is... I'm really happy with this. The Protoceratops, uh, I think, are like one of the cutest dinosaurs in the prehistoric fauna mod. Uh, it's really... What is he doing? Maybe he's cleaning the tables. I need to go teach him a lesson. Bobo, what are you... Oh, he's actually... Bobo! Who are you serving burgers to? There's no one here. Your friends. Your friends. Yeah, well, you're not getting out until you serve five people. Okay? Okay? That's the deal. Five people, and then you'll be free for... Uh, maybe a f like two hours and then you have to come back. I'm going to end the episode here. Um, we've, we actually got two enclosures done in one video, which is cool. An unpaid staff enclosure and a protoceratops enclosure. This has been really productive. If you did enjoy, make sure to subscribe. It does help a lot. And yeah, even Bobo wants you to subscribe. <laughs> Please, maybe I'll let him free sooner if you guys do subscribe. He wants to see his family. I think he's a bit delusional though. Take care everyone and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.